Good day. In this presentation, we introduce communication engineering. This is the first lecture. The outline goes like this. We will start with what does communication or telecommunications mean? Importance of communications by electrical signals. Uh, what are we going to study in this course? Examples of today, today's communication methods. Then we'll conclude with simplex versus doublex communication. That's kind of the first terminology we use in the course. So what does communication or telecommunication means? What does communication or telecommunication means? We think we can think of um, communication as the transfer of some form of information from one place which we call the source you can see the blue colors are the new terminology from the source to the destination to another place that's the destination so information being transferred from one location to another called communication using some system to do that this system is known as the communication system now this is kind of um, homework i'd like you to find out the difference between communication with s and communication without s so please find out the difference between communication and communications you can share your answer in the comments now when you look at this definition you have to be careful and not to be trapped by thinking about locations as something far uh, the original way of thinking of communication people were thinking about taking information from one place to another this could be from one continent to another but nowadays it's more than this even communication within the body you could have implanted or implanted devices you can have in your pocket device you can have health sensors communicating with each other so when we say location it doesn't have to be very long distance now I think this is the only topic that we don't need to talk about much which is the importance of communication but just for completion i just shared with you some of the application including teleconferencing teleshopping telepanking internet computer networks i don't think we can overemphasize the importance of communication so what are the examples we would, would like to what are the examples that we see uh, we see in our daily life this includes uh, the use of satellites microwave fiber optics or optical fiber and copper cables you can see the picture here on the side we have optical fiber and that's covered by plastic and then some shielding we have the coaxial cable it's called coaxial because the center conductor is in the axis and then we have the other conductor around they have the same axis coaxial we have the twisted pair cables or copper cables they could be twisted like this or otherwise Every one of these communication media is used for different applications. I'm listing here telephone, TV, radio, internet for satellite, and other applications for, uh, for twisted pairs. Now, the topics we're going to cover in this course would like to cover the basic methods that are used for communication in today's world and the different systems that implement these communications methods. Upon completion of this course, you should have the following outcomes. You should be able to identify the different communication techniques, know the advantage and disadvantage, or advantages and disadvantages of each technique, show the basic construction of a system that implement the communication technique. And uh, there are more than this. I'd like you to kindly check the syllabus. It's available where we have the course description, outcomes and objectives and details here i'm just summarizing the expectation now let's conclude this first uh, quick session by defining the difference between simplex doublex we have simplex half doublex and full doublex so when do we call a communication system to be simplex if it's one direction like in a tv broadcasting or radio broadcasting if you look at this picture if somebody is holding a horn and just shouting he is one-way communicator this is called simplex it's simple and duplex we have two-way communication but we have two types of of, of duplex we have half duplex which means 
one can talk at a time it's a two-way communication but only one can talk at a time like in a in the citizen band or walkie-talkie and by doing this we are saving resources of course if you want to have full duplex which means the two can talk at the same time simultaneously then we need double of this like in the case of a mobile phone you have one channel uplink and we have downlink or we have forward and backward links so to summarize we have simplex it's one direction duplex two direction but we have half duplex which means one at a time we have full duplex two of them can speak uh, simultaneously